Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I wanted to show y'all a purse because uh, this is old. <laughs> I didn't just get this, but I'm wearing my Chico's top that's got orange stripes on it. And so I thought I'd bring out my orange Henry Bindle. And I never say enough about the Henry Bindle bags. If you want a medium priced um, bag that's really durable, it's usually the Safiano leather. Um, and it's got a lot of little detailing. Like this has little uh, screws and it says Henry Bindle on it in um, gold and silver. So it kind of goes with any jewelry. It's got a nice hang tag inside. Oh my gosh, it looks crazy in here. But inside it's got your typical zipper, but it's got the Henry Bindle and a little bow. Isn't that the cutest? Little, um, his thing is, um, the brown and white stripes. And then, um, maybe I'll do a Henry Bindle review. Because I've got, let's see, how many bags do I have? One, two, three. I think we've got three. Anyway, um, and it's got the two, you know, pockets for what used to be phones. Now phones don't fit in that. But sunglasses, pens, whatever. And then, of course, I've got my trusty um, organizer from Clover Sack. And I need to do what's in my purse and just dump this thing out. Oh, my gosh, it's just too much. I feel like I need everything I see. Everything I've seen here, I feel like I need that. What is that? Excuse me while I check out what's in my purse. Oh, when I need this out here. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I need that. Hand sanitizer, always. You always need that. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing I've seen here that I don't need. It's just heavy. Am I carrying something here I don't know about? So if I did start carrying a nail kit, this little nail kit from Revlon, and I did start carrying this Niv Niv Nivea cream. It's just a... Um, it's rich moisture cream for body, face, and hands, ideal for daily use. Intensive moisturizing needs. Does not clog pores. Stop if irritation can, begins. And I have learned to pay attention to that. If something irritates you, don't use it. Ladies, for those of you who remember Noxema cleansing cream, remember it's still a very good cleansing cream. It really gets your makeup off good. That's what it looks like and smells like. But it's an intensive cream. So I'll put it in here thinking I need intensive. When right alongside it, I've got my Chanel hand cream. Oh man, that's the other stuff down in there. Oh my gosh, what's that? Oh, it's a little tag. It looks like a tag that you would um, have a uh, number on. And you know what it says? It's one of these little tags. Like you see in a Chanel or a Louis Vuitton that has their... Um, well, actually, don't, Chanel's don't look like that. Um, but it looks like a Louis Vuitton tag. See that right there? Can you see this little thing right there? The little white tag. You know what it says? It's a leather tag. Made in China. Why would I Why would I even want that? What isn't made in China? I'm sorry, y'all. We do, we do over-trade with them. It scares me. It's like they practically own the United States. But anyway. I know, let's don't get into politics because that is a doozy right now, <laughs> especially trade. God help us make the right decisions. Help the President and the Congress make the right decisions on these things. Okay, so today I am wearing, this is from Ethel and Myrtle. Aren't these, isn't that a cute name? Um, it's just a long group of crosses. And I sometimes wane on using the cross as an adornment of any kind because uh, I don't want to make light of what happened at the cross, and yet I love the cross. I love the symbol of the cross. As much as it is a symbol of horror and torture and pain, it's also the sim symbol of glory and joy for me because of the cross. I'm saved from my sins, so I don't know. What do y'all think about that? You don't have to comment on that. I know that's very, probably very deep and controversial subject, so you don't have to comment I just always wonder what y'all think. You can comment if you want. At least don't argue. We can we can have a debate on things without being ugly, right? We can always talk. And we should. We should share. We're, I think the women should stay informed on issues and that they should debate the issues to understand them, listening to each other's point of view so that 
unless they all have the same view, but still listen to each other on those kind of things because we need to be uh, informed. Okay. Today, as you can see, I've already done just a basic look. I put on my brows, I've done a wing liner, and I've done lips. I did not do, I didn't think I did moisturizer, y'all. I don't think I did. Um, so I am going to put on just a little bit, very little bit of makeup on my face. And then I'm going to use the Tartlet in Bloom. I forgot about this. It's Amazonian Clay Palette. And it smells so good like chocolate. This is such a wonderful. If you if you would like a warm palette, actually, it's got warm, it's got cool. Because this, this whole corner is cool right here. And then it's got the rusty colors. This is kind of a, again, it's called the Tartlet in Bloom, made by Tarte. And it's, to me, one of the best palettes out there. And I'm thinking, why did I not use this more? I guess because I'm always buying new palettes and talking to you about it. And I move on to the next one. But if you just want a good all-time one, that definitely is one. Now, I today am going to use my CoverGirl Olay in color number 110, Classic Ivory. And this is a foundation and a serum. Serum. A serum. You don't have to shake it because the way that the product um, squeezes up, it it melds together both the oil of Olay and the um, the serum from oil, oh, the serum from oil of Olay. I can't use that because I can't say it. Anyway, and with the makeup, and so you don't have to shake it. It just it, the, when it squeezes squeezes it, it blends it. And I'm going to use two pumps. That may be a little too much. I just remember, I usually only do one pump of this, which is great. It goes a long way. But don't turn it over because it'll fall right off. It's so thick. I remember I did that once. It went right on the floor. Uh, and some of you are wondering, Beth, why in the world would you be putting makeup on after you've done your, both your liner and your lip? Because, y'all, just because. <laughs> I was going to leave it at that. It'd be funny. How do I look now? Kind of funny. Let's do this. Oh, for the girl that always gets so upset that I don't pull my hair back, or when people on YouTube don't pull their hair back on when they're doing their makeup, she says it makes her crazy. I don't want to make you crazy, so I just pulled my hair back. But I can't, if I pull my hair all the way back, like with a headband or something, it will stay in that rickety shape the whole day. So I know I can't do that. Just gonna put a little right there, a little right there, all right there. If you get going. And I'm pushing it into the pores. And then we'll just begin the process of blending. That smells good. I try to stay out from under my eyes too close. Y'all, this is a good coverage product. Look at the difference it's making. Now look where you got a molistic. That's okay, kind of. So let's start blending, Beth. Quit talking and blend, blend, blend. Y'all, that really is good coverage. Look how it covered my age spots almost completely. That's that's really good stuff. No kidding, y'all. This is one of my best coverages I've ever seen. Look, it's covering that big age spot. But it's not covering that little freckle. That's interesting. Your my age spots back here are pretty pronounced. All right, and then I just do a little bit on the um, forehead, just a little bit. Yeah, and I might just do a little over there. And you can always pack it in. When you push like this, you're pushing it down in the pores. And you think, ooh, isn't that dirty? Yes, it is. That's why you don't want to do it too much. And you want to make sure you take your makeup off every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I'm having a procedure done later today, so I don't have any necklaces on. It's kind of free. It is. Sometimes jewelry can feel like it's uh, burdensome. You know what I mean? For those of you who don't wear jewelry for that reason, you're going, uh-huh, yeah, we know that. But it's also fun to adorn yourself. When I say adorn yourself, I don't mean like you're, wow, that's kind of light. This is classic ivory. I kind of feel like I might need to go to a beige for summertime. I look a little whitey. But, you know, here is my, why do I have that all the way over there? We need my little towel. I always wipe some off afterwards. I don't like to leave makeup on the brush and yet at the same time I know that doesn't fully clean it but it, it does a decent job for daily until you can do your weekly cleansings some people clean their brushes daily I would say if you have acne or some other kind of situation with your skin that might make sense matter of fact I don't even know if I'd use brushes you might want to use your hands sorry you have a doggy here right on my lashes you might want to use your hands um, because you can wash your hands every single day as far as putting on foundation and your hands warm the foundation and it your hands glide over your face and get all the cruxes and everything so cruxes are y'all having a good day all right i need some blush what do i have but it needs to be more peachy because i was just fixing to get this i'm like no too purple for this shirt no too rosy for this shirt I'm too sexy for me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, oh, I see something over there. What is that? Is that kind of orangey? That looks more like a bronzer. Beach rose. What do y'all think? This is from Pixie. Then we'll do it. Oh, here's a Tarte palette. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Why am I not using this? Look. All right, so this is going to go into two videos. It's. I think it's because it's extremely shiny.